So we talked during the Sabbath, the things that we want, the things that I want, the foundations of a church that are desperate to establish for Christ, to Christ, for the glory of our Father in heaven, for the coming of the kingdom, for the blessing of all the world. And now in the night, in the new day, in the darkness, the cold and the oppression, I want to talk to you about what we stand against. We stand against the powers of darkness, Satan, the gods and powers that serve him. The Kundalini spirit, the spirits of Jezebel, the whore of Babylon. the rot, the cancer, the darkness, the evil things. Oh, I know and I'm wretched and weak and I know it takes a commitment from me to say I will not fall. takes the blessings of God to uphold me, to lift me from the miry clay. We are beset by witchcraft, magic spells, cabalist, cabalists. Oh, the Enemies teaching this to the world, to our children, to follow Hindu gods and demons, Chinese spirits, spirits of the dead. To open the very toolkits of God. The Kabbalah, the chakras, the prayers of power and providence. And this isn't like going in and stealing, that you're going in and raiding the things of God when he's not watching. God stood next to us like blind rats. We salivate and fumble for our erections and our gaping moors, crying I want more, I want more, I want more and he watches us as we devour each other and he prays for us to turn from our wicked ways to, to look at the things in our hands, to open our eyes, to see with the clarity by calling upon the name of Jesus, by calling upon the only name that is able to present us before his throne, spotless and clean. It's done in that moment. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Pray for a better life. Wish for a better life. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Mother Goddess. These very people will devour you as they burn. They will wrap their tendrils, their tongues around you. 
happen as you begin to scream. They will exult. And Satan has taught them to exult. That they have t devoured the ch child, the Most High God, that they've turned a soul to darkness. They've convinced one who would be pure and would be elegant and would be lovely and graceful and beautiful to be a thing of the other. It's in your wine, it's in your meat, it's in your car, it's in your gravy. It's not something you can easily detect. But God knows all and sees all, is in all and through all. He's a God who saves. A God who elevates and lifts up. A God who casts down. Seek him first in all the things that you do and that's what the church will do. And will come against in mighty prevailing prayer and standing in exorcism in battle against all the things that stand against him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, Denny.